everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is Monica and I'm doing our weekly readings for the week ahead. Now these are timeless, but technically we're looking at the week beginning October 18th. But by all means, whenever you feel drawn to watch the video, that's when you should watch the video. Don't get hung up on the dates. This is going to be for water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I will timestamp. I'm using the Tarot de la Nuit deck, clarifying with Tarot del Toro, and the Oracle message is coming from the Le Vampire Oracle, okay? For those of you who want to know. Your mid-monthlies are posted, so check them out. You can also still check out the monthlies because there's still messages there that are all gonna that are gonna resonate, they're gonna apply. And you have other week ahead messages that you can check out as well. I'm all caught up on personal readings, so if you want to get one, now would be a good time. I can get it to you a lot faster than usual. And what else? Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you to everyone who has. So what's going on for water signs in the week ahead, beginning with Cancer. 26. Mind down timestamps. What's coming in for Cancer in the week ahead? Show me Cancer in the week ahead. Okay, so what do we have? We have the situation, justice, the challenge, three of pentacles, the outcome, death. Interesting. Ten of swords at the bottom of the deck. So Cancer, you're dealing with some sort of an ending. Um, now it could be the ending of a legal situation, ten of swords with the justice energy, the end of a trial, the end of a legal process, the end of a difficult, legal, complicated situation, right? Uh, where the law might have been involved, etc. This could also be divorce energy, breakup energy for some of you. The challenge with the three of pentacles is that maybe you have a lot of, um, you have assets together, you have property together, or you've been together for a while, you've built something together, or maybe you have a business together, or you've collaborated on things, and it's just a matter of splitting things up. And in the outcome, we have the death card, so it's just confirming. This is an ending, but with the death card, even though it's painful, death card with the ten of swords is a heavy situation, I'm not even going to lie. Um, it's happening for your highest good, even though it may not feel like it. Um, it is for your highest good. It is something that was not supposed to be in your life or not supposed to be in your life anymore. It was doing more damage than good or it was keeping you from greater or better things. Okay. I'm going to clarify, but this could be where, yeah, it's something where you had plans. Now it could be as, as simple as a trip gets canceled, right? And maybe you were supposed to sort out some legal stuff during that trip or that's why you were taking the trip or whatever um and it just get, gets canceled so the problem is now you have to figure out how you're going to split things up in a different way right um but then there's something where looking back a while from now you'll see this as a as a blessing in disguise it could be the end of a relationship and if it is Again, you have assets together. You have created something together. Um, and it's a case of splitting that up evenly or sp splitting that up in a fair way. Yeah, King of Cups under that, your energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Um, but if this is ending, it's ending because you weren't happy. Uh, it wasn't fulfilling. And it's in your highest good. It's in your best interest uh, for you to be free from the situation if that makes sense okay for others of you, you may have a yeah four of wands under there. there this is about a commitment that is ending and it's painful but it has to be done okay is the energy that i'm getting here for some of you you're doing this you're initiating this because you're not happy even though the commitment might be stable or lucrative it doesn't make you happy okay I do feel like for, for most of you, you are initiating this, okay? 
So let's see. Clarify for Cancer the energies of the week. So with the Justice card, we have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, it's a heavy burden for you. It's difficult. It's hard. It's a fight every step of the way. The Queen of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles as the challenge. Maybe you're walking away from an Earth sign towards with Capricorn. The end of indecision. The end of splitting yourself too thinly. The Two of Swords. You've been thinking about this for quite some time. You've been avoiding having to make this decision. But I feel like it's just time because it's too much of a burden with the Ten of Wands. Okay, you want to be done with this. It's too much. Uh, the challenge, the Three of Pentacles with the Queen of Discs or the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. It could be third party influence and third party doesn't always mean another person that someone's cheating with. It's just focus being taken away from this partnership and being split in more than two ways, right? Because there's too many people involved, basically. Um, whether that's friends, family, or just being focused on other things rather than the connection. Um, it could be that, you know, the challenge is you're dealing with someone who's just interested in the money, who's just interested in status, who's just interested in themselves, okay? A little bit of a selfish energy there. Because um, I'm not seeing a lot of emotion, and I think that's what the problem is, okay? That's what the problem is. You're not happy. There's no emotion there. There's no emotional fulfillment, um, and that's why this is... You're you're putting this to an end is the way I'm seeing it, and if it's it's happening to you, as it were, it's something that... It's painful, it's disappointing, you may view it as a failure at the time, but try not to beat yourself up too bad because I feel like, again, you give it some time and looking back, you will see it as a blessing in disguise. But again, I feel like for most of you, you're initiating this and for those of you who've been hoping that this happens without you having to make the decision. So either way, I feel like you're free, okay? Oracle advice for Cancer for the week ahead. Oracle advice for Cancer for the week ahead. Courtesy, thoughtful, polite, good manners. Yeah, I feel like you've been you've been trying to make this work. Okay, you've been very uh, fair to this other person. Whether this is happening with your work situation or with your love life, doesn't matter. You've been very nice, very polite, very courteous. You have given this person chance after chance after chance. You've been giving them the benefit of the doubt. You've been giving them time to do the right thing, okay? I feel like you've really been patient. You have really invested a lot into this. I feel like you have gone overboard. I feel like you have gone like over what is fair to you. You've been more about giving to this other person rather than giving to yourself there's an imbalance basically okay and you've been putting everything towards this connection or this partnership uh and the other person just looks like they've just been taken okay because they're interested in money status reputation what they can get um they like being they like getting things they like getting attention they like um getting gifts etc but they view it as yeah of course you give me gifts they don't have that oh this is so beautiful so kind so lovely i want to do something for you now does that make sense um and yeah for a lot of you you've been waiting for this person or waiting for this situation to resolve itself uh, or come to a natural conclusion without you having to actually speak up because uh, that's also the two of swords there but and with the world here yeah, and the Five of Pentacles, you have come to the conclusion that you've given enough to this. You've given enough. There's no more to give, okay, with the Five of Pentacles there. The Ace of Cups is the issue. There's no emotion here. Yeah, look, Five of Swords between... The Ace of Cups is in between the Five of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. So you're wearing your heart on your sleeve, and the other person is just taking it, not returning the favor, right? Not returning your feelings, not returning your commitment, not returning... Or not even valuing it. Does that make sense? So whatever is ending, because it's not going to be for everyone. Not everyone is dealing with the same thing. That's why you have to watch your sun, your moon, and your rising signs. But whatever this is for you, Cancer, that if this makes sense to you, you know this was a burden. You know this has been a long time coming. You know this is for the best. Um, it's just going through it and sorting things out, making sure everything's as it should be from a legal standpoint, from you know splitting up assets type situation. But you know it's for your 
betterment because this has been a black hole in your life. It's something that you have been giving, giving, giving to and not receiving a lot in return, okay? And you've been miserable for quite some time, okay? Um, and so whatever is happening this week, whether you're initiating this or something happens where you can no longer give to this, it's taken away, it falls apart, it crumbles, I don't know what's going on. Um, that time gives you that pause, right? It gives you an opportunity to just breathe and be like, no, I'm not going to fight to keep this going. No, I'm going to let it go. If it's going, fine, go. You know what I mean? And then bring a focus back to you for you to recover, for you to heal, for you to get your strength back. And that's financial strength because for a lot of you, you've lost a lot of money in this. Um, and more importantly, emotionally, you have to recover, okay? And if this isn't something that has happened, your advice is if you have been thinking about ending this, releasing this, then the message is, yeah, absolutely, because it's eating you up alive, okay? Um, with the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands, there, for some of you, there could be some sort of health issue that uh, halts your plans, gets... I don't know, you lose work or something like that. Um, and then the death card is, that gives you an idea of maybe some patterns that are not good for you, right? Or some behaviors, uh, things that you need to stop doing because they keep leading to the same thing, uh, which is usually an illness or something like that. Or things that you could start doing more of to prevent this happening in the future so either way there is a sense of transformation there in how you view things and how you are okay so i hope that makes sense moving on to scorpio eleven fifty-five ish all right what's going on with scorpio in the week ahead show me scorpio in the week ahead Scorpio and the week ahead. Scorpio and the week ahead. I hope you can see the cards okay. It's kind of dark outside because it's raining. So we have the situation is the Hierophant, the challenge is the Queen of Wands. The outcome is the full. Interesting. And three of cups at the bottom of the deck. So one scenario that I see right away, Scorpio, um, yeah, be careful. I feel like there is someone tempting someone out of a commitment. So the situation is a Hierophant, Taurus energy, long-term commitment, marriage. The challenge is the Queen of Wands. This can be seen as the temp temptress, male or female. This can be seen as the other woman or the other man, male or female, right? Because it's general. And in the outcome, it looks like someone is leaving this commitment with the full energy. Okay. Now, yes, it could be going on because you also have the Three of Cups. It could be going on in your love life where someone's kind of tempting you or someone t is tempting your partner. Um, someone might be leaving this con connection. Whether it's them, because they are going with the temptation, if that's how it's playing out, but it could also be that when it's revealed, you leave the connection because you realize you can't trust them, right? So it's something along those lines. In terms of business, this is great, right, with work, because this is headhunting energy. You're in a position, you're in a commitment, you're doing the work, right, you're going through the motions, and here comes this headhunter, so you're not looking, you're in a commitment, it's established commitment and you're set, right? This is for the, the those of you in that situation. And here comes this headhunter offering you this much better opportunity. You weren't even looking for it, but it looks amazing, it's very, very tempting. And it looks like you're going to take a chance on it with the full energy, okay? So there may be some changing jobs happening or even changing careers um, happening out of the blue because someone comes to you, someone is headhunting you, okay? That's the energy that we're looking at, all right? So whether it's happening with love life, whether it's happening with business, career, whether it's happening with a friend somewhere in your social circle, the message is, this is there is this commitment that is solid, 
everyone's doing what they're supposed to be doing, carrying on, not looking. There's something or someone coming in and it breaks apart the commitment, okay? Because someone is tempted and they go that way or um, you realize what's going on and you are walking away, okay? And it doesn't have to be lying, lying cheating or whatever. It could be a case of someone not keeping their promise to you. They made a commitment to you. They made a promise to you. You were counting on them and that then they don't keep their promise because they go with something else or someone else. And it's kind of revealing to you who you can trust and who you can't trust or you walk away from the friendship or you stop relying on that person right so it doesn't have to be too bad or too big it'll be different for everyone yeah three of cups four of cups it's something someone leaves you hanging someone leaves you waiting and for those of you i feel like if this is with love life and this is a recent reconciliation if this is something that has happened before, it's just confirming to you with the Four of Cups that this is just the same old thing, right? Same old, same old. This person hasn't changed, unfortunately. So let's see. Let's clarify for Scorpio. The energies of the week ahead. Oh, oh, oh. So the Six of Pentacles flew over i'm gonna put them all back nine of pentacles yeah for some of you are definitely becoming single this week because you're leaving a one-sided situation someone was promising you commitment or you're already in a commitment and yeah look the eight of swords something is revealed and you leave you become single or you go with a different job or you move out Okay, if that's the situation, for some of you, you're living with someone and they're a party animal and you can't get them to stop, right? Or you're living with someone and they're just completely unreliable. And so you move out or you get them to move out. So it's going to be different for everyone, but that's the bottom line. That's the energy, okay? Let's clarify. What do we go ahead for Scorpio? Hierophant. Yeah, the Four of Swords. The Queen of Wands, Judgment. And the Six of Wands with the Fool. Yeah, you are victorious. The Fool, again, at the bottom of the deck. So this is um, a test. For some of you, you are the one testing this person, okay? And you get your confirmation that no, they have not changed. And you can walk away with um, peace in your heart, peace in your mind that you're doing the right thing. And you can finally be done with this. And it's a very big win for you, okay? For others of you... This is something, yeah, I feel like this is a situation that you've been in for quite some time with the Four of Swords, a commitment you've been in for quite some time. And with the Judgment card with the Queen of Wands, because of her, you have the information that you were missing. Because of her, you get the information you were missing in order to decide whether or not you want to commit to someone or something, okay? For some of you, that's how this is playing out. Um, for others of you, this is a situation where you've been waiting for Swords with the Hierophant, you've been waiting for a commitment, whether it's romantic or professional, and you hear that they went with someone else with that Queen of Wands because they're, they're loud and bold and flashy and in your face, um, but then that frees you up right it frees you from that time of waiting it frees you to go and look for other things and with the fool in there twice there's definitely something coming in where you have a new beginning and for those of you that have been in two minds about th something two minds about or two you have two choices and you're not sure which one to commit to etc then again through this fire sign individual aries or sag or just they're how i describe them right um you have your clarity, you're receiving your clarity of which way is better for you. And so the outcome is you can finally fully commit with the, the full right, both feet in um, to one option and that's your victory, that's your success, okay? So it'll be a little different for everyone. Bottom line is, um, yeah, someone comes in big and bold and brash brash <laughs> brass and rash is what i was trying to say um 
And even though initially it takes you back, it is a blessing in disguise for those of you that this is going on, um, where this is the other person, right? Tempting someone. But either way, you learn something, judgment from the situation. This flew out. Witness, you learn something. To know personal evidence to speak out. Yeah, so you're seeing everything that's going on and you're learning from it, okay? But something will be revealed with the judgment card and the witness energy. Um, something will be revealed to you that is the absolute truth, whether it's, no, I can't trust this person, they're always going to be easily tempted, right? And that frees you from that connection completely because you have peace in your mind, no more what ifs and no more doubts in your mind and in your heart, right? Which is important, it's a big deal because that could keep you stuck for years, can't it? Uh, or it's a case of you understand how the business world works, you view, you get a, a, a peek at the dark side of it all, right? The corporation world where even though you're doing your work and you're doing a very good job and you're following the rules, here comes this person out of nowhere and just because they're loud and in your face, um, or maybe even flirting with someone to get the job, I'm not even going to lie, they get the job. So that again frees you from thinking this was a really good company and you wanted to give them your all. It frees you from that and uh, allows you, gives you that freedom to look for other opportunities. And it looks like there's something that you're going to find right, right away. Okay. And again, if you've been in two minds of should I stay here? Should I look for something else? Or you have two options that you're looking at. Which one do I go with? Whatever's going on here, you're going to have, it's for you to witness so that you have clarity of which direction is best for you. So either way, Scorpio, you have the sense of, of freedom that comes from this clarity, right? That you get from seeing what's going on, from witnessing what's going on within a connection, within a, a business dynamic, okay? So take it as it makes sense to you. Okay, moving on to Pisces. Show me Pisces in the week ahead. What's going on for Pisces in the week ahead? What's going on for Pisces in the week ahead? What are Pisces dealing with in the week ahead? We got the wheel. I hear turn around, come back around. Someone telling you to turn around. Knight of Pentacles as the challenge and the outcome, the Magician, bottom of the deck, the Nine of Wands. Yeah, something you gave up on or something you were ready to give up on turns around. The issue is it's moving slowly and it will take a lot of time. But if you wanted it, you have a new beginning that you've been trying to manifest for a long time. But for whatever reason, with the Nine of Wands, it was blocked until now. And the Empress is under that. Something you've been trying to manifest. It could be to do with love life or it could be to do with your finances. Um, the issue is it was blocked. Someone was closed off. You didn't have access to something. You were told no. Um, you put a lot of work into it, though, with the Nine of Wands. It took a lot for you to get to that point where you said, you know what, I just want to... I'm giving up. That's it. I'm done. Okay. And you, I feel like for most of you, you let go of this. You stop hoping for it. Okay. Whether it's a person or, and you were hoping they'd come back or you were trying to manifest new love or it's about a job situation. You were trying to go for that promotion. You were trying to make sure they make you permanent, do everything you could, whatever it is. You were fighting to get that house. You were, whatever it is. Okay. And it just it just wouldn't go it just wouldn't work it wouldn't come together it didn't happen i feel like you gave up on it you stopped hoping you stopped trying maybe um made your peace with it right and the situation is it's coming back around with the wheel of fortune here okay um and i i for some of you i do hear someone telling you to turn around asking you to turn around okay turn turn around turn back around come back 
the challenge, Knight of Pentacles, the challenge is, for some of you, it's physical distance. So things can't pick up right away, right? That's the challenge. Things can't be what you want them to be in the situation right away. It will take time, maybe distance to overcome, uh, obstacles to overcome. It needs time to develop. It needs time to grow. It, it's going to move very slowly. And that's your challenge. That's something that you have to decide if you're okay with that or you still want to keep going, right? And the outcome, either way, it looks like you have a new beginning with the magician. It is what you've been trying to manifest. So I feel like for the most part, you're going to say, okay, I, I understand it's going to move slow. I understand it needs time to grow. Um, but I, I still want to do this, right? Um, and you have that new beginning with the magician. So it can be a, a new relationship. Um, it can be renewed relationship. I do still get that turnaround energy, that coming back around. It can be um, that promotion, you being made permanent. Whatever it is, it'll be different for everyone. That's why I describe, I talk about the energy. I may, you know, give examples if I'm picking up on specific examples, but you take it as it makes sense to you. You know your situation, okay? And actually give me some feedback because that also helps me learn, right? Of what else this kind of energy could be talking about. So let's clarify for Pisces in the week ahead. Yeah, that's the only reason I see a little bit of a moment of hesitation, okay, with that Knight of Pentacles. Because, again, you've already given up on this. And you're like, well, do I want to get back into it or not? Um, especially when you know that it's going to take time and it's going to be moving very slowly. But again, I feel like for the most part, you still want this, whatever this is. Let's clarify for Pisces in the week ahead. The wheel. Ten of swords. Yeah, what I say? You've already given up on this. There was already an ending in this situation. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles is with the Five of Wands. Yeah, that inner conflict, that moment of hesitation. And in the outcome, we have Strength and the Magician. Yeah, it looks like, for the most uh, part, King of Discs or King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck towards Virgo Capricorn energy. For some of you, this will be something to do with your money. It will be something to do with job, career, advancing, climbing the ladder. Ace of Pentacles under that. And the Queen of Discs under that. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and the uh, Ace of Pentacles. And for others of you, this is to do with love life. It's someone you view as your uh, your true love, right? Your true partner. If it's the coming back around energy, you still want to work on this. It looks like you're still uh, resolute, right? Yes, I want to do this. Um, yes, I still believe in this. Yes, I still want this. Um there are obstacles to overcome with that Knight of Pentacles, so it will need time, it will need patience, there's delays, there's distance, um, but that's where your motivation comes in with the Magician and the Strength card. You're saying, yeah, no, I'm ready. Whatever comes, whatever needs to be done, whatever we need to do, whatever I need to do, I'm ready, I'm going to do it, okay? But yeah, this has been a very difficult ending in your life. It could be with this person or in uh, love life in general, okay? You went through a very difficult, painful ending. You've been trying to manifest new, healthier love. Um, and that's what's coming in, right? Or you were told you don't qualify for something. You were told no when you apply for something and that's coming back around, okay? Or something better is coming in, but it's linked to that situation, okay? If it's not exactly the same, it's linked to it, if that makes sense. Um, but either way, I mean, this looks pretty good, Pisces, so keep up the good work. It'll be up to you. If you want to turn your back and walk away, by all means, you can do that. This is looking at those who still want this and those who are still going to go for this. That's what the cards are talking about. Clarify for Pisces, Oracle advice for Pisces in the week ahead. Fluff. Okay. 
Um, that's more than one card. Yeah, it's two. Faith. Look. Trust, unwavering confidence. Yeah. That's the Nine of Wands, the Magician, and the Strength card. I have faith in this. I still have faith in this. I trust this. I want this. Unwavering. I'm determined. That's the strength energy. Okay? And religion. Canon, rules, commandments. That's also part of the things to overcome. Okay? Someone's views, tradition, religion, uh, cultural differences, distance between the two of you. There's rules to follow. Um, yeah, how someone was brought up. Stuff like that, right? Is someone else's rules, someone else's um, traditions, someone else's sets, sets of uh, beliefs. That's what the obstacles are, okay? But look, despite the obstacles, you have such strong faith in this. And it's what you truly desire with that heart there, okay? That's what makes you truly happy because that heart is on fire, okay? And it looks like that's what's coming in. Whatever you've been wishing for so much and working towards so hard and putting your heart into it um, and it broke your heart when it didn't happen or it broke your heart when it ended, okay? For some of you, it'll be that that comes back because you still, it's still where your heart is, right? Um, so yeah, there is definitely second chance energy here, reconciliation. And yes, there's still gonna there's still going to be obstacles to overcome, but that strength card there is, is saying, I don't care, whatever happens, I'll get through it. Whatever happens, I'll do it. And I feel like it's for the both of you, if this is a romantic situation, I feel like the both of you, there's hesitation on both sides, but there's also this strong faith. Uh, in recognizing this, yeah, okay, we have our differences, but I still want this very much, okay? I'm still willing to put in the work, nine of wands, I don't want to give it up completely. I still think there's something we can do, right? Something along those lines. But, um, yeah, and for those of you, this is about career, business, uh, it's definitely that, just, that's like Hierophant energy, okay? It tells me that there's something coming in you'll be made permanent or you're getting the job or you're getting the promotion and you're now on the ladder okay you're going to be climbing the ladder there's more to learn with that energy there but you are determined this is what i'm doing i've worked hard for this this is what i'm doing okay and it's something that will be very prosperous very lucrative and a source of great abundance i hear and stability in your life for a good long time to come okay so this is pretty awesome uh, Pisces Sun, if you don't know, so <laughs> fingers crossed. Let me say this in my in my week ahead. Um, but yeah, let's uh, report back, see what's going on. Um, but yeah, I hope this makes sense. I hope it helps. I hope it resonates. Um, be sure to watch all your signs. Have a wonderful week ahead, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.